गाइस हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल एंड वेलकम टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ गेट एप्टीट्यूड सीरीज दिस इज पार्ट सेवन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सिक्स अदर वीडियोस इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द एप्टीट्यूड पोर्शन वी आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व एज मनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कंसिडरिंग द अपकमिंग गेट एग्जाम एज पॉसिबल सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट पाई चार्ट now this topic this pie chart is very important because if you see previous year of question paper you will find out that pie chart has been repeatedly asked uh, there are two types of questions which are generally asked from pie chart the first one is based upon the the graph uh, basically that's what we call as like angle and uh, percentage based okay so that's what is the first type of question the second type of question is based upon data interpretation so uh, this basically does not require that much of pie chart knowledge data interpretation it is more based on percentage and uh, like you know understanding what data is given to you and how to interpret that so that part is more important in this data interpretation part but angle and percentage is what is more uh, actively uh, included in the pie chart so this video will uh, be covered based upon this angle and percentage portion of the pie chart if you guys will request or if you guys will be having this suggestion to include data interpretation also then i'll try to make a video uh, on data interpretation as well in the upcoming days but uh, this is this i thought it's a easy thing and it should be taught or it should be included so that uh, many of you get uh, to know that yes pie chart can be used for finding out simple things and i'll also discuss about a lot of tricks here okay so lots of tricks and tips that you can basically use to solve questions based upon pie chart all right so having said that this is going to be the sole uh, point of this particular video let's start with it let's see some questions let's see some previous years of gate question i'll also give you some question to solve and please let me know the answer in the comment section the answer which will be completely like which will be completely correct and which will be posted first i will pin that comment in the comment section below so that others can also get to know that, that is the answer for that question all right now having said that let's continue with our video all right so a pie chart basically will look like something like a circle over here in which different sections will be there of this this basically is a pie chart all right that's how it looks why it is called pie chart because this is a like this is a circle and this circle has a area which is actually equal to pi r square and because everything is related to this pie that's why we call it as pie chart all right now there are different formula which you can use like area of sector and all but that i will not discuss over here the more important thing is to discuss about the uh, angles and the uh, and the percentages okay so in the pie chart different angles will be represented by different uh, like sections like this this quadrant kind of thing is basically representing 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees all right uh, this is uh, let's say 45 degrees this is again 45 degrees uh this is uh, somewhere around 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees so this is how your angles will be represented so what are some points which you should know about pie chart is that that total angle okay total angle in a pie chart is 360 degree that is for sure you have to remember this that the complete angle of the pie chart is 360 degree as complete circle if you have to make you need to go 360 degree for that all right second thing is that total percentage like total percentage if nothing is specific is given in the question in that case total percentage which the pie chart which the pie chart which the pie chart represents which the pie chart represent is 100% okay so as usual like the total percentage is 100% the total angle is 360 degree now you have to relate both the things okay so you can simply say that 360 degree is equivalent to 100% now considering that you can make your own shortcut tricks out of it right what you can say if i just divide both the sides by uh, 0 0 uh, sorry by 10 and 10 or i can cut the zeros over here so i will say that 36 degree is equals to 10% all right 
or if I have to find out only for 1 degree, so 1 degree will be equal to how much? That will be equal to 10 by 36 percent. Or if I have to find out for 1 percent, so in order to represent 1 percent, I have to divide by this. So this will be 3.6 degree. So 1 percent is going to be represented by 3.6 degree or 1 degree in the pie chart represent 10 upon 36 percent. Now considering these things, we can solve so many questions which are there. You can make your own shortcuts like if you want to make 5 percent, uh, basically you are dividing this by 2. So you have to divide this side also by 2. So it is going to become how much 18 degrees. So 5 percent is 18 degrees. You can make any percent and any degree in that way, right? You can convert them down like that. All right. So as I said that if you don't want to go into all this shortcut trick in that case, these are the basic formula which we are using. So to find the percentage of the slice, let's say you are given with an angle and you have to find out percentage of that slice or that region in that case, you have to just divide that given angle by 360 degree into 100 that is going to give you the answer in percentage. Okay. Whereas let's say you have to do the reverse that means you are given with a percentage and you have to give answer in degrees like you have to make a pie chart out of it. In that case whatever percentage is given divide that by 100 and then make it 360 degree. Let me give you an example of. So let's say if the question is ki, uh, find find the angle that will represent that will represent uh, 20 degrees sorry 20 percentage in pie chart in a pie chart. So what exactly you are doing? You are given with a percentage and you have to find out angle, right? So what you will do? Whatever percent is given 20 divided by 100 and multiplied by 360. If you solve this, you are going to get how much? 72 degrees. This is by the formula. If you are using the short trick, so for the short trick, what I said that 360 degree is equals to 100 percent, you need to find out 20 degree, 20 percent, right? You need to find out 20 percent. So basically how much uh, like over here how much degrees it will be. So let's say this is x. Now just divide both the things. So it will be 360 by x is equals to 100 by 20. So x is going to be equal to just cross multiply. So x will be equal to 360 into 20 by 100. Solve this and again you will get the same value that is 72, 72 degree. Right. So these are the shortcut like this is how you can use a shortcut trick or you can use the formula to do it. All right. Now let's say the question is in the other way around. That means you are given with the uh, with the angle and they ask you that how much percentage it is. If they ask you find how much how much percentage how much percentage does does a region does a region of uh, 30 degrees represent in a pie chart okay for that if you use the formula it will be like uh, as i said you have to use this first formula angle angle represented by 360 into 100 the angle represented is 30 degrees divided by 360 into 100 if you solve this basically you are going to get it um, how much percentage so it will be 300 by 36 you just, so this value will be somewhere around 8.33 percent so that means key 30 degrees of a pie chart is going to represent somewhere around 8.33 percent all right so this is how the basic things works now we will see some question and we will try to solve them first we will take a question from previous year of gate exam okay it was asked in gate 2017 exam the question says that 40 percent of death in a city road may be attributed to drunken driving the number of degrees needed to represent this slice of a pie chart is so how much degrees do you need to represent this as a slice on the pie chart okay so what it says that you have to represent 40 percent all right uh, in pie chart right so this is again the case where you are basically converting the percentage into angle so for this what you do you just take the percentage value 
divided by 100 and multiply it by 360. That is how you do it, right? So, if you solve this, this 0 and this 0 is going to get cancelled out. 36 into 4, just multiply it and you get, you are going to get the answer and that will be 144. Right? So, 144 degrees is the slice which you need. This is one of the way. The alternative way you already know, uh, you can simply do it like this that uh, you are having that 360 degrees is, e is equivalent to 100 percent. So, this 40 percent is equivalent to how much? So, just divide them. So, 360 by x is equals to 100 by 40, cross multiply and solve it. So, x will be equal to 360 into 40 divided by 100. And as simple as that, again, you will get the same value that is 144. So, I am telling in the both way, both are the ways of solving it. This is your usual way, although it is also easy. But if you want to go with a shortcut way, if you don't want to remember the formula, you can simply go by just comparing the value and all, right? So, you have to start from 360 is equals to 100 and that is how you will be able to do. Let us say, let us take some more question and see how to solve them. All right, let us take this question over here. It says that if the total marks is 300, then the marks uh, in mathematics will be and you are given with a pie chart over here. Angles are represented against every uh, value like mathematics is 90 percent, English is 55 percent, Hindi is 70 percent, science is 80 percent and history is 65 percent. All right. So, since you are being asked for the marks of mathematics, how to do this? So, again the same thing you have to do. Okay. Pi chart gives you total 360 degree and here 360 degree is not equivalent to 100 percent. But according to the question, it says that it is the total marks is 300. So, that means 360 degree is equals to 300 marks. All right. So, this is the relation which we have developed now. So, that means and how much marks, we are, how much degrees we are given with? We are given with 90 degrees. How much marks we need? We do not know that. So, now we just have to divide or basically cross multiply. So, we will get x is equals to 300 into 90 and divided by 360 marks. This will be the marks which you are going to get. 0 and 0 is going to get cancelled out. This is going to cancel out for 4 times. If you just uh, divide by 4 to 300, this is going to make it 7 times and 5. 75 marks is the marks in the mathematics if the total marks is 300. A similar way, you can find out the marks obtained by the student in all the subjects. Like I did for mathematics. You can simply do it for English. For that, you have to put 55 over here. You will be getting marks which that person would have got in English. Similarly, in order to get marks for Hindi, you just have to put 70 percent here and you would have got, got the marks uh, which that person would have got in Hindi. And similarly, you can do for history and science as well. So, it is as simple as that. This is how you use the trick to do the question. Easily, you do not have to use any formula to do it. Let us take another question and see how to solve. All right, let us take another question. What it says here? Okay, so this is a pie chart which is given upon based upon different type of expenditure in printing, paper, binding, royalty and miscellaneous for a particular book publishing, let us say. It says that what is the difference between the angles of pie chart showing binding and printing. So, this is your binding and this is printing. You have to tell what is the difference of the angle. Now, you can do this question in two ways. Either you can find out the angle over here then you find out the angle over here and then take the difference or basically what you can do is find out first of all difference in percentage values okay so binding is 30 percent and printing is 25 percent so if you see the difference that is five percent now five percent how much angle it will represent so you know when the percentage is given in that case 360 degree represents red percent so five percent will be represented by how many degrees cross multiply your value of x will be 360 into 5 divided by 100 and if you solve this you are going to get it uh, 18 right and that's why option number a correct choice. so this is how smartly you can use a pie chart to solve questions based upon like various steps of can be asked i will give you a question so that you can also practice it out and you can also try to solve that from your own, uh, like for your own uh, practice, right? All right. So this is your homework question. Uh, there are two parts of it. Basically, this is the pie chart which is given to you. The pie chart represents uh, like the expenditure of a family. 
if the total amount spent was rupees 50000 okay so 50000 rupees is the total amount which they are uh, spending uh, out of that 45% is spent on food 5% on clothing 15% on housing 15% on education then 10% on teaching and 10% on entertainment now the question is the first question is that find the ratio of amount spent on teaching and education right what is the ratio of amount spent in both of them second question is that the amount that was spent on food was how much okay so i have given you enough uh, like information enough ways of solving it i believe that all of you will be able to solve it correctly so i'll be looking upon your answers in the comment section below that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you all will be able to answer Right. so see you guys in the next one till then have a great day hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much